Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Jolene Farquez. And I'm Sandra Ganem. The anti-bullying thought of the week is a quote by Lynette Mather submitted by Mrs. Thornton. What if the person you bullied in school grew up and turned out to be the only surgeon who could save your life? Students, if you are able to sign out for Raider Hour and choose to do so, you have two places you can be. Either leave the building or go to the cafeteria. You will have five minutes to either go to your locker and then exit the building immediately or go to the cafeteria. If you choose to go to the cafeteria, you must remain there until the end of the school day. If you leave the building, you will not be allowed to re-enter until school is dismissed at 2.48. Jack and Sarah are back to give us some shout-outs in this week's Raider Report. Welcome back to this week's Raider Report. Our first couple of shout-outs go to the speech team. On Saturday, November 10th at the Normal West Tournament, Madeline Ignolia earned third place in JV Informative Finals. Sophie Schneblin received fourth place in JV Declamation Finals. Chloe Rogers received 6th place in JV Poetry Reading and 6th place in JV Prose Reading and Kirsten from it earned 6th place in JV Humor Interpretation Finals. The speech team also did a great job on Saturday, December 17th when they competed at the Richwood Tournament. Kirsten Brummett took 4th place in Humorous Interpretation, Madeline Ignolia placed 3rd in Formative Speaking, and Sophie Schneblin won 1st place in her event declamation. Great job speech team! If you see these two wrestlers, Randy Robinson and Courtney Ashley, give them a big congratulations. Randy is ranked 5th in the nation at 132 pounds, and Courtney is ranked 9th in the nation at 122 pounds. If you'd like to see them in action, come and watch a wrestling meet. The first of three meets this is year, year is November 29th at 5 p.m. The three East Peoria Robotics teams competed on November 10th at Quest Academy in Peoria. The Retro Raiders earned fourth place, the team of Technophobia earned third place, and EP Robo Raiders earned second place. There were 16 teams at the competition. Nice job, robotics team. Our next shout out goes to EP Chess Team. The Chess Team started their league season with a home meet versus Dunlap. The team lost both rounds. However, in one round, Blake Griffin Erde went on board five, and Parker Spence got a draw on board three, along with Austin Evangelist on board seven. Round two saw wins from Parker Spence on board three, Kyle Woodard on board four, and Austin Evangelist on board seven. Great job, Chess Team. That's all for the Raider Report this week. I'm Sarah LaHood. And I'm Jack Skaggs. Have you ever been interested in a health-related career? Illinois Central College will offer one-day Saturday courses during the spring semester of 2019 for students who want to explore the variety of health career programs. These courses are all open to all high school juniors and seniors and also any current college students who are undecided on which career interests them. If you have any questions or want to enroll, call the Health Careers office, Department Office at 309-690-7530 or you can see Ms. Barclay. Attention juniors and seniors, our ISAC representative, Emily Blankenship, will be at EPCHS every other week this year. If you have questions about college or career planning, financial aid or scholarships, she is a great resource. To make an appointment, click on your ISAC sign up file in your junior or senior resources Google Drive folder. If you have any questions, talk to your counselor. The Hope Club continues to sell Raider Nation stainless steel water bottles for only $10 each. If you are interested, please see Mr. Hobbs in 253B or Mrs. Beecham in 334B. UCARE is a student-run mental health and wellness group. For our November event, we want to highlight some of the ways EPCHS students engage in self-care. Self-care is what you do to take care of yourself. It might be time with your dog, listening to music, watching Netflix, or baking something you love. Send a picture of your favorite self-care activity to allisonsu at ep309.org. At the end of November, two entries will be drawn, and the winners will receive Bradley University gear. Our club will be meeting Thursday, November 29th, after school in Mr. Simmons' room. The Creative Writing Club will have its first meeting on Wednesday, December 12th, after school in Ms. Pfeiffer's room. 215E, please come prepared to read creative pieces of writing and see what the rest of the year will be about. Speaking of Writing Club, Jolene interviewed Ms. Pfeiffer last week about Creative Writing Club. And you'll get an inside look at our school store coming up now. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Pfeiffer. So what is Creative Writing Club? 
Uh, creative Writing Club, is, we meet once a month and we will read creative pieces and create them. Um, if you don't want to write that month or you don't have time, you can still come to Creative Writing Club and enjoy what other people have written um, uh, or what we choose to read. Um, the big project is we work together to edit um, pieces, uh, submissions for the creative or the literary arts magazine. Uh, it's called The Essayist. Um, and then we also uh, team up with the foods and the art department and we have a fine arts night for The Essayist um, where students' art is featured and we have readings and we have people play music uh, and it's just a really great night. And that date is to be announced. Thank you. This segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by... Hi, my name is Becca Ransom, and I'm here with Gavin and Luke, and they're going to tell us a little bit about the school store. Gavin, what is the school store? The school store is where you can buy multiple things. You can, where you can buy shirts, where you can buy puzzles, where you can buy, where you can buy anything that you need. Luke, how could you order things from the school store? You can order them from the order forms at Mrs. B. Craft's room 236B. Gavin, what is your favorite thing to make from the school store? My favorite thing is making shirts. The one that I designed right here. It's one of my favorite designs so far. And Luke, what is your favorite thing to make at the school store? My favorite thing to make at the school store is mugs, like the one I made today. Awesome, thank you guys. Peace! That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, listen to Becca Ransom every day during Raider Hour, or check out the announcements on our EP website. Also, be sure to follow us on, in on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Sandra Ganem. And I'm Jolene Barquez. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a great Raider day. day.